In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving matrix using Casio FS and our ES plus calculator. And after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving matrix using Casio FS and our ES plus calculator very fast in seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. Okay, so before we get the Casio calculator and go into the details of the video, Let's quickly look at the questions I have here. So as you can see, I have up to six questions here. So we learn how to solve inverse and transpose of matrix. We also learn how to solve determinant of matrix using the Casio calculator, Casio FS under one ES plus. I also learn how to add, subtract, and multiply matrix using the Casio FS under one ES plus calculator. Okay, so having done that, let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of the video. Okay, so this is Casio FS, another one ES plus calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do will be to clear. The essence of clearing is to put your calculator in default mode. Okay, so to clear, for those of you that don't know how to do it, simply press Shift button now for the instruction. Press try, then press record to, and press record to do it or ac button but let's press report again now we have cleared this now in default mode now the next thing you have to do will be to put your calculator matrix mode that's the mode of the calculator that will never does solve this problem so you go to mode so matrix is option c so press six so now you give your matrix order so let's begin with math a all right so Remember, I saw question one. So, math A, the order of the matrix here, this is 3 by 2 matrix. Alright, so you start with the row, then the column. So, we have three rows in this question one and two columns. So, it's 3 by 2 matrix. So, that's option two. Yeah, very important that you identify the order correctly if you don't identify it you will get confused all right so very important now to identify order of matrix so here is option what so three by two matrix okay so we have this are mass a member we have two okay there and fitting the values for all right two okay one and zero Okay, so this is our math A. Now, let's press AC button. As I'm putting these values, they are being stored in this calculator automatically. Okay, so take notes of that. Now, let's go to Shift Matrix, which is option this button for. All right, so you go to data. Now let's impute values for mass B. Alright. So we press option two. So the order is still three by two. Okay. So we press this two. So now let's impute the value it's going to be one. Alright, press record two. Six. Okay. We have two. Okay, we have four. We have three. And we have five okay so we are good to go let's press ac button knowing that these values are already stored now let's find the addition of this matrix to find it you now go to shift this button for if you look at four closely on your calculator you will see matrix on top of it so you press shift this button so we have our math a that's this option three then plus this is addition we have plus then go back to shift this button for max b that's all so press record to get the addition of the matrix okay so this is the addition of the matrix guys it's as simple as that now for the subtraction of the matrix we need to wipe everything because we have different values there so to clear press shift button 9 for the instruction 
Okay, we have clear. So let's go back to matrix mode and solve question two. So we have six. So the S in P for mass A. Okay, so the order of the matrix here, this time I want it changed. It's now two by two matrix. So we have two rows and two columns. So option five. So in the values five, three, okay, four, and two. All right, so let's press AC, but knowing that they are already installed, let's go back to shift this button for data and put the next values for the order of matrix there. So this is option two. So the this number one is max B option two. So this select the order, the order is still two by two matrix. So let's input the values we have two. Okay, one, we have three, and zero. That's all. Let's press AC button now. Let's go and find the subtraction. Press shifts matrix. All right. This time I want, we don't want to impute another data. So we want to find the subtraction. Press max A minus. Go back to shifts this button. Max B, that option four, and that's a press report too. So, this is the subtraction of the matrix, it's as simple as that, guys. Now, let's find the multiplication of this matrix. So, we go back to we have to clear, right? So, you clear to so impute new values. So, go back to mode. Very important, guys, ensure you clear after solving one problem with different other matrix. Okay, so I'm at A for question three. The other is two by two matrix. Okay, so we have one, two. Okay, I'm the values three and zero. All right, so press AC button. The values are already stored. Go back to sheets button for data. I want to impute the data for mat B. So the other, okay, sorry, two. The other is still two by two matrix. So you put the values we have there. Two, the one and five. Now go press AC button and now go to sheet button four. So we have mat A, which is option three times mat B shifts. This button to max B is option four. So that's the press equal to. So this will give you the multiplication of the matrix. Now, guys, let's find the dominant. Let's wipe this shift button now from the instruction. So let's go to matrix mode option six. So our max A. Okay, it's determinants. The other is what well, two by two matrix of question four. So that's option five. So let's impute this. The values they are four, two. We have six and five. So this is determinant of two by two matrix. Okay, now let's wipe this. Let's press AC button order, knowing that the values are already stored. So you go to shift option four. Now determinant is option seven here. If we look at it, you see determinant so press seven. Determinant of what? Determinant of math A. So you press shift this option four. Or that this button four. Then we have math A, that's option three. Close the brackets. That's all. So the determinant is what eight. It's as simple as that, guys. Now let's find the determinants of this three by three order of matrix. All right, so let's wipe sheets the other clear. Okay, so let's go back to matrix mode. Sorry, point equation. Let's clear this. So you go back to matrix mode. Option six, so mat A to so the other now. 
So this is three by three matrix. Alright, so we are going to go for op option one. So let's impute the values. We have five, two, and one. Okay, and we have three. We have four and two, and we have one, seven, and one six. Okay. Hope we're not missing anything, so it's correct. Now let's press this button and then find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix with this calcium calculator. Okay, so it's going to be shift button this button 4. Yeah, then we have the determinant option 7 of what max A. Press shift this button so max A is 3. Close the brackets, close the press report to. So dominant is what 35. It's as simple as that, guys. So we have looked at how to solve two by two out of matrix and three by three out of matrix with this Casio FS and our ES plus calculator. Lastly, let's look at how to find the inverse and transpose of matrix with this Casio FS and our ES plus calculator. Let's wipe this. Okay. Very interesting, guys. Now let's go back to matrix mode. Okay, so I must A. This is 3 by 3 order of matrix. So I have put some option one here. So let's repeat the value. We have 3 minus 3. Okay, 4. Alright, we have 2 minus 3. We have 4. Alright, and we have 0. Alright, minus 1. And we have one. Okay, so let's press this button. Now, let's first of all find the transpose of the matrix before finding inverse. So, to find the transpose of this matrix, very simple, guys. So, you go to shift button four. All right, so look at transpose option eight here. All right, so you press it. Transpose of what? Mat A, remember I use Mat A, we repeat the values as Mat A. We go back to Shift button 4. So Mat A is option 3. Close the brackets, press record 2. So this will be the transpose of the matrix. It's as simple as that, guys. And lastly, to find the inverse of this matrix, okay, so all you have to do will be to go to Shift button 4. So Mat A. It is option three. All right. Now you press this button, this inverse of X here, and it will indicate here that this is the inverse of mat A. That's why I press the button. And so this will be the inverse of the matrix. All right, guys. So it's as simple as that. So this is basically how you can solve problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication of matrix. Determinants of 3 by 3 matrix, 2 by 3 matrix, and transpose and inverse of matrix using the Cassie FS, another one, ES plus calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. And with this, we have come to the end of the class. Hope you learned something interesting. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel. For more videos like this, so like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel. What I learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to be a question in the comment section below, and I will sure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click calculator once you are done. To do that, press shift button 9 for the instruction. And that's all we're good to do. Thanks for watching.